Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. In today's lesson, we're going to, we're going to talk about how to find the missing lengths in a right angled triangle. So we're going to talk about Pythagoras. So today we're going to apply, we're going to see how we can apply Pythagoras to find the missing length in a right angle triangle. If you don't know what is a right angle triangle, then right angle triangle, one angle is going to be 90 degrees, which is a right angle. Um, the longest side is going to be the hypotenuse. And then we've got uh, one side is going to be opposite side and one side is going to be adjacent side. So we'll talk about what we can do um, What's going to happen in the question? They'll, they are going to give you two sides, and we have to find the missing side. So that is what's going to happen. Well, guys, this is the formula we need to remember. The height of, for example, if uh, this side is C, this side is A, and this side is B. I don't know. It's written some other way around, but just C. A and B. So remember, hypotenuse squared, which is the longest side. If you square the longest side, that is going to be equals to the square of the one side there and the square of the other side. So if you have to find out the longest side, which is a hypotenuse in a right angle triangle, that's the formula we're going to use always. And the square of hypotenuse is equals to the sum, which is add sum of the square of the other two sides. So we have to remember this formula always. But guys, so we've got define h which is c basically so what you have to do so hypotenuse square which is h square equals 8 square plus 4 squared and so 8 squared is 64 and 4 squared is 16. now what we can do in order to get rid of the square from here so do you have to square root here perfect perfect well done so if we have to get rid of this square from here, you square root both sides. So that's going to be h square equals 80. And you square root both sides. And the square root will cancel this square from here. And on this, on right hand side, you've got square root 80. You put these, you put that in your calculator and you will get the answer. Now it's a good idea to write the full answer before you round the, the uh, round it to final answer. So once you've got all the, or the, or the full answer written there, then you can round it up or down to get the final answer. And always and always make sure you read the question properly because they ask us to leave the answer to one decimal place. So that's the answer to one decimal place place. So just have a look at this question here. So it says find the missing length in a triangle below. And again, it's very important to leave the answer to three significant figures. So if I give you a minute and then we'll talk through. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And if you substitute in the values, you will get 9 squared plus 1.6 squared equals c squared. This equals a q one plus two point five six. Um, that will e that will give you eighty three point five six. And if you square root eighty three point five six, your answer will be nine point one four. And don't forget to um, look back at the questions. You have to leave your answer to three significant figures. So you have to round this to three significant figures, which is nine point one four. 
So for question one, we do four squared plus three squared. Uh, so when we do four squared plus three squared, four squared is 16 and three squared is nine. So we do 16 plus nine, which is 25. And then we find the square root of 25, which is five. So for yeah. the second one, we find the square root of nine, which is 81 plus the square root of 12, which is 144. And then we square root the answer, which, um, so the square root of 12 plus the square root of nine is 225. And the square root of 225 is 15. So for three, we, uh, find we square five, and then we add that to the square of seven. So five squared is 25 plus seven squared, which is 49 and you get 74, and then we have to find the square root of 74, which is 8.6 rounded to two significant figures. For question four, uh, which is 8.6. So for question four, for question four, we do, we, first I converted 53 millimeters into centimeters to yeah, make it easier. That's an important point. point. So always make sure that units are consistent. So we need to convert millimeters into centimeters. So what do you do to convert millimeters into centimeters? You just times it by 10. Times it by and 10? Then, okay. And then uh, we got, so do, we've got five. So do you times it by 10 or divide by 10? Or divide by 10. Yeah, divide by 10. So that's gonna 5.3 millimeters, right? Yeah. Okay. Centimeter, 5.3 centimeters. Yes, centimeter, 5.3 centimeters, yes. And then so we do 5.3 centimeters squared, which is 28.09. Then we add that to 8.1 centimeters squared, which would make it 93.7. Then we find the square root of 93.7, which is 9.7 rounded to two significant figures. Perfect. So make sure you read the question properly to round the answer to two significant figures. But guys, in this question, you have been given the hypotenuse. You've been given the longest side. And they're asking you to find the other side. So what we've done so far, so, so far, they have given you these two sides and they want you to calculate the hypotenuse. If that's the case, you always add the square of other two sides. But in this case, They've given us the hypotenuse and one side, and they want us to find out this side there, the opposite side. If that's the case, you have to do the takeaway. So you do hypotenuse square, take away the adjacent side square or just one of the side square. So if they ask you to find the hypotenuse, you add, if they ask us to find something else or any of these sides, then you always do take away. So that's going to be 10 squared, take away 8 squared, and then square root that. So if that's the case, what you simply do, that's the formula. You plug the values in, and in this case, they've given you the hypotenuse. You have to find A in this case. So what do you do? That's 10 squared is 100, and then 8 squared is 64. And then you take away, so take away 64, take away 64, both sides. So that will give you 36, and square root of 36 is going to be 6. First of all, what you do is you do 14 squared, which is 196. Then you do 6 squared, which is 36. Take away 196 and 36, which is 160. You square root 160, which is 12.6. Perfect. And always uh, make sure we read the question properly, because in this case, they're asking yes, us to leave the answer to one decimal place. So your final answer is going to be 12.6 centimeters, and that's to one decimal place. Okay, so for A, first we do 47 squared plus 34 squared. So 47 squared is, uh, 
It's okay, so again, I did yeah, the wrong so order. That's fine, it's not a problem. So we, we start with Pythagoras like formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Okay. Yeah. And your A squared is 34 squared, and then uh, your B squared is 47 squared, yes? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, go on then. Okay, so for the first one, we know that the formula, a formula is 6 squared. Um, oh, so for the first one, we know that the formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Mm -hmm. So if we do 34 squared plus 47 squared, yeah. which is 1156 plus 2209, which is equal to 3365. Then we find the square root of 3,365, which is 58 to one decimal place. So for the second one, we also know that the formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared, but we have to find the missing length. So we know that the hypotenuse is 28. So 28 squared is equal to um, 19, 19 squared plus G. So 700. So 784 is equal to g squared plus 361. So yeah. 400. So we do 784 take away 361, which is 423. And then we find the square root of 423, which is 20.6 to one decimal place. Perfect. Perfect. Right, guys, there, there are some questions um, for you to do. So I'll suggest if you can pause the video, uh, do them and mark them. So answers are right here. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share and like the video.